Welcome to this unboxing video for the TS3 uh, Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus uh, docking station or docking device. I bought this from the Apple Store today uh, for just under 2,000 Hong Kong dollars. And the reason why I wanted this was because I like to be able to have uh, on my uh, MacBook with the four USB Type-C ports, uh, also Thunderbolt ports, um, I like the option to free up the ports because I have a lot of things connected to my MacBook and so forth. And I also like uh, the ability to have lots of ports on one device and also having the uh, added bonus of say for example um, having extra ports to power up a MacBook or a phone or whatever. So this is the box and it has not been opened yet. So let's take a look. So we're just looking at the side of the box right now. So this has gigabit ethernet. It's got a uh, uh, DC uh, in for uh, 20 volt, nine amps power, uh, 1.2 uh, version display port. It's got two Thunderbolt three. Uh, it's got USB type C 3.1 generation two for data only. And you've got the conventional USB A uh, 3.1 ports. Uh, on the top right corner. So this is the back of the uh, of the dock, and this apparently is the front, but we'll get into the uh, box in just a moment. Uh, SD card slot, audio in and out, uh, another USB Type-C port, and uh, another USB-A conventional uh, port. Right, so that is how it looks on the side of the box. And uh, yeah, so lots of different languages, and that's how much it costs, 1,978 Hong Kong dollars. If you do the mathematics, you'll know how much it costs in uh, US dollars and so forth. And this was actually made in Taiwan. So this is a Taiwanese product. Okay, and these are the specifications. You can see Thunderbolt 3, display port 1.2, gigabit ethernet, analog ports, and uh, all the USB uh, ports that you can think of, as well as an SD card reader. Okay, so, and by the way, I have a lot of dongles um, with my MacBook, but uh, I'm not showing them right now. I like to be able to have just one uh, docking station or docking brick just to plug everything in. But in any case, let's uh, have let's talk. Look, let's talk and more walk. Let's open the box. Right. So uh, it's a pretty heavy box. It's a pretty big box as well. So I'd assume that there's a power adapter inside. So yeah, that's I think that's a Taiwanese uh, plug cable thing okay and that's the British one that we use in Hong Kong okay so all right let's put that down and uh, what have we got thank you for choosing call digit and got some telephone numbers like hotlines and things in case you need help yep do you need some help call digit.com forward slash support wonderful okay now let's let's get all these out um, what's this? Rubber feet installation for horizontal orientation. Ah, okay, right, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, that's the Thunderbolt cable, and you know it's Thunderbolt because it's got the Thunderbolt symbol on the side. Right, and that is the big brick adapter. And if we just take it out of its, uh, its plastic wrapping, it's pretty well packaged. Yeah, there's, um, it's got this extra layer of uh, protection on it, so uh, I think there's this plastic you have to peel off. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's the, all this extra plastic you have to peel off. Alright, so if we just uh, remove that. Alright. Okay, now let's. Um, side right now so what's next oh yeah it's good. I'm gonna get back to the box also so let's dig into the box we have a quick start guide okay. so a quick start guide to show you how you set this thing up how you plug it in and so forth so in the box 
sorry, um, plug the uh, box to the uh, wall and plug that to your docking brick station thing. Okay, there you go. That's what we get inside. Oh, it's a little smaller than I thought, which is probably a good thing. Let's just open this. All right, there we go. So that, oh, that's it. Look at that. That's the front, hang on. That's the front. Oh, and that's the back wall. That's, that's so cool. All right, so yeah, if you uh, take a look at the adapter, you put those side by side. Oh boy. Yes, all right. What else have we got inside this box? Let's take a look. So if we just open this, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, let's put the box down and let's unwrap this thing and uh, see what we can do with it. So, I'm about, sorry, I haven't got any scissors with me at the moment. Right, let's uh, take this and let's put that aside. Okay, so there it is. That is the Thunderbolt station. That's the proper name. It's got this rubber bottom bit. Uh, I would assume you'd place it like that. Okay. That's how you'd place it. And you've got the back ports as well, just like that. Brilliant, okay, so let's uh, just power this thing up. So, we'll just remove this. Let's put this all aside, and uh, okay, we'll just, okay, so we need to plug this into the bracket. Right, we don't need this one, so we'll put that aside. We will need that one. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll unwrap this off the camera. There we go. Now let's uh, get this all plugged in. So if I just, I've got a plug socket underneath me, underneath this table. So I will get this plugged in. So just bear with me for a moment. All right, switch it on. Just, uh, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this, uh, put this there. Sorry, the wire's a bit short. So I just hope this doesn't slide off the table. So, okay, let's just move forward a bit. Now let's see if we can plug this in. So we'll just, just jam that in there. And I think that's pretty much it. Let me just see. Hmm. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Thunderbolt port and plug it into the back. So it should go to computer. So it actually says computer there. I know it might be a bit small to see, but it does say computer. And then I just plug the other end into the port. So just jam it in. Sorry, I'm just. Okay, and uh, it does light up, so the light is on. So just to give this a little test, I want to see if I can plug this conventional USB mouse into this uh, device, so through the port right here. So if I just, and I'm gonna move the mouse as well to make sure that the mouse pointer will actually move. Unfortunately, I don't have any SD cards on me right now, so I can't test the SD card capability, so. We'll just have to use what we've what we've got. So if I plug this in, uh, the light does flicker somewhat, and yep, it works. Right. So um, if I zoom up on the screen, yeah, that's much better. Look, see, it actually works. So perfect. And if I disconnect that, obviously it's not going to work. If I plug that in, no problem whatsoever. Great. Yep, that works fine. And uh, if I plug it into the back. I can, uh, maybe I'll try one of these ports. Right now I'm mainly just testing the conventional USB ports. So uh, let's have a look. Yep, that works fine, beautiful.
additional part and this part I almost forgot to put in but this part is extremely crucial especially if you have these power hungry MacBooks this device will uh, give you 87 watts of uh, power to so you can power up your MacBook so hopefully you should be able to power this up without using the uh, adapter provided by Apple but in any case let me show you right so at the moment all right, we're running off the uh, battery right now. It's fully charged, 100% and so forth. So if I go and uh, there's my Thunderbolt wire, and if I plug that into the, I'm not using the tripod here. So if I plug it into the part that says computer, right? So just jam that in there. Uh, it will power up like that. And uh, if I go and check, it will say battery is charged. Um, whether or not uh, this will remain uh, charged uh, when I'm using power intensive apps and uh, dongles and so forth, that remains to be seen once I get back to my workplace, uh, i.e. school, but uh, it is charging. Um, if I plugged in a uh, power adapter that had a lower power rating, it would say battery is not charging and uh, the battery level would deplete. So this is this looks quite promising from the get-go. So. That is kind of what it looks like. And notice there is no Apple adapter or so forth plugged into this 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro. So that in itself is really quite amusing. Also, if you want the advantage of being able to put this on its side, then you can use the rubber feet option, which came in this plastic bag. Now, the great thing about the rubber feet option is that you don't need any uh, uh, sticky back uh, adhesive or uh, glue or anything like that. You just have to take the rubber feet and you just uh, push it into the grooves like that and just push all the way down until it's firmly in there. You might have to flatten it with your finger somewhat and then that ought to do the trick. So now it's on its, uh, it's upright and now it's horizontal just like that. So there you go. That is the TS3 Plus Thunderbolt Station 3 plus. And uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.